just for this little box. What do we have here? I am excited. You guys, we're gonna play with the newest GHD 2-in-1 Hot Air Styler. This right here is expensive. This is a luxury splurge hair tool, 399 US dollars. This is unlocking a lot of memories for a lot of people. Do you guys remember the wet to style? <laughs> Stylers, they're still available to this day. So this new GHD Duet Styler is basically a two-in-one. First, it dries your hair using this new air technology right here. You have on both sides, there's vent right here and a vent on this side. And then you have two plates on each side, which is really fascinating. And then you have these air vents as well. So they're saying that it's supposed to take your hair from wet to styled for a smooth hair with no damage. They're claiming no damage. This is not your typical flat iron that will dry your hair from back in the day. This is more advanced. This has technology in there. I don't know if I trust it, but we're gonna try it out. It's supposed to just use the air in here. And then once your hair is dried, you use the plates to smooth and add shine back into your hair. I'm intrigued, I'm excited. We're gonna get my hair all ready. The only thing I have in my hair is literally my shampoos and my conditioner. I haven't put anything else in here. I'm gonna add a little bit of my Act and Acre, Act Plus Acre, the cold pressed, cold processed leave-in conditioner. I'm just gonna do two pumps and my hair is still nice and damp. Some of the videos that I was watching, the hair looked really wet, like they, they added moisture back into the hair before they even used the tool. And then to add a little bit more protection, I'm going to use the Bumble and Bumble, the Invisible Oil, Oil? <laughs> Invisible Oil Protective Primer. Just gently brush out with my Tangle Teaser, the ultimate detangler. And I'm thinking I wanna do half and half, see how fast it takes to dry my hair. And then we'll go back in and we'll do the, like the shine using the plates. Instructions are very simple for the Duet Styler GHD. You just turn this on. Plug it in first. Had to reset it. It's going to, I think, stop blinking or make a noise when it's done, but you turn it on. Oh, it's pleasant. It's getting louder. We're taking off. Okay, it's warm air coming through. I think we're done. Let's heat it up. Okay, that was very simple and easy. So next step, you take a section as wide as the plate or the tool, and then you hold it two to three seconds next to the root, at the root, and then you slowly glide down the section of hair and repeat until you're done drying, I guess. You can see the air blowing from these little vents. I feel like I have to hold the hair in there. Okay, pass one. Four. Still, you can see it's still a little damp. Some of the sections. So let's do five sections, five times. Feels pretty good. Has a little bit of dampness left. That looks really nice. It's a little frizzy towards the top where all my new baby hairs are, my new growth after the postpartum, postpartum shedding. One thing I'll say right away, the plates, I was thinking that it's going to get kind of stuck on the way down, but it was very smooth. It felt very even, very easy, but it is going to be a little bit time consuming. I wanna see how long it's gonna take half of my head. 
to do. I'll time you. Andre's gonna time me. And with every pass, I am holding the GHD duet style, like two to three seconds at the roots to dry them. All right, this is just using the dryer, the hot air tool, the styler, without the shine plates. And this is what we're looking like. It took less than 15 minutes, well, like 13? 14 minutes. 14 minutes, and this is what we're looking like. And it feels pretty dry, even the roots feel good. Like, I would be good going with the plates now. Oh, one thing I will say, I feel like my, my baby hairs are all over the place. I'm hoping the shine plates or the shine uh, shine shot will help kind of chill everything down, but the hair feels very soft, very even. It feels good. Like I can run my hands really easily. It feels really good. How does it feel on your scalp? My scalp, it feels dry. Is that what you're asking? It's still hot. It felt, yes. So the best way I found to get as close as possible to my roots was holding the GHD Duet Styler kind of at an angle instead of like horizontally, but holding it at an angle almost vertically and trying to get as close as possible to the scalp, holding it there for two to three seconds. If you hold it longer, you can feel the hot air coming to your scalp, but it's not unbearable. It's not uncomfortable because you're not just holding it there the entire time. This very comfortable in that sense. It's not hot. The only thing I will say where it's uncomfortable is you need to use your both hands. So the one hand, it's clamping it down. I was telling Andre like halfway through, I'm like, oh babe, my hand is starting to cramp up. So I kind of loosened my, um, loosened my grip a little bit and just held it a little bit higher right here where it felt a little more comfortable. And then I started using my brush to help hold the section of hair in place or just kind of brushing it through because I found that when I was just using my hand without the brush, a lot of the hair would kind of tangle, if that makes sense, and it wouldn't be even, and it, the hair would start falling out of the plate just because it is so smooth. So having a brush on hand and kind of guiding that hair through is actually really great, and I personally would recommend it. But that's pretty great. I would say it is pretty time consuming, but you're drying and styling your hair at the same time. It's the same as the uh, Dyson, the Shark, the Revlon, that type of a tool where you dry and style your hair at the same time. So that way you don't have to go back in and use a hair straightener. But this, I think it's cool. They give you a two in one, that shine shot to turn it on and then just kind of gently go through your hair if you even need it. I think I do, especially towards the top, just because it looks, yeah, that's that's what that is. I love those baby hairs because that means we have new hair growth, but having a straight hair look and have my baby hairs all over the place is not a good look. You can click the, the shine shot. Do I have to hold it? Because it's blinking. I'm assuming that's just the straightener turning on. Okay, that's the straightener. Love how big and wide it is. So you can get nice big sections to straighten the hair and to style it. I will say once the plates are turned on, I can smell a little bit of, um, not burn, but Some oil burning. yeah, oils that, that are um, either on the styler, but I will say 
even with my GHD, the 1.25 inch curling iron, it does omit a smell that most of my other hair tools don't have. I did wanna show you guys the roots uh, underneath, not the very top, but underneath. I was having a hard time, I was always saying, getting close to my roots. So you can see a little bit of that natural bend or wave that I have from my natural hair type. I do have a little bit more wave towards the roots. So I do have to use a smaller flat iron, flat iron if I were to wear my hair straight, just because this type, it's not gonna get as close. Let me see if I can get it, how close I can get it. At an angle, and that's as close as I can go. You can see where the line starts, it's right there. And that's what happens. That's why I don't straighten these baby hairs. I'm gonna finish this side right here. And I was noticing that I had to go at least four to five passes to get a nice dry, <laughs> section of hair. So that's what I'm going to do on this side as well. So because I used the shine shot, which are the plates at 365 degrees Fahrenheit, I'm now going back to the hot air styler and it's literally cooling down the plates and then it's going to turn the air on when it's ready to use, which is very fascinating. You basically have to hold the shine shot uh, button for two seconds for the shine shot feature to turn off and the wet to style air feature to turn back on. We're waiting. And it's been already like three minutes. Something to note. Something to note. Dry your entire head first before using the shine shot. <laughs> This is the final result using the new GHD Duet 2-in-1 Hot Air Styler. So I minimized how much I used on the right side, the shine shot, which is strictly just the plates at 365 degrees Fahrenheit because like I said, it has a little bit of that smell. Overall, yes, it works. It delivers a very sleek, shiny, smooth result. I'm sure you can go back in and style using the plates, give your hair a little bit of a bend, but honestly, this, I don't think it's that type of a hair tool to give you a curly, wavy result. This is more to smooth, to give yourself that really sleek result. Yeah, I think this is good for those that really want that smooth, sleek result. And then you can go in and style your hair throughout the week using a curling iron, a flat iron, etc., to give your hair waves, bends, whatever. I mean, you could travel with it, right? Because you don't use to bring a, a hair, hair dryer. dryer. Yes, that's what I think is phenomenal. It's a two-in-one, it's a hair dryer, and it's a flat iron. I'm just thinking, yeah, if you like to straighten your hair a lot, and you dry your hair a lot, this right here, I think will replace that tool for you or both of those tools for you. The one thing I'm a little concerned about is they're not saying how hot the hair dryer gets when it's just on the duet style at the hot air styler technology portion. They are seeing how hot the plates get when you turn the shine shot, which is their typical 365 degrees Fahrenheit, but they're not saying how hot the rest of this gets when you are drying your hair at the wet stage. I'm not sure, but they are saying it's damage free. To what point? I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure if they even tested to what point you do see or start seeing some type of damage. So I do say protect your hair. <laughs> if you think this will be good for you, it works and it works great. I mean, this is the result and I am happy with the result besides my baby hairs, but I just don't wear my hair typically this straight because of my new hair growth. It kind of just wants to do its own thing. It's expensive, $300, just kidding. 400, that's 399, it's expensive. I also appreciate that it's not loud. 
and it's not hot on your scalp because you're constantly moving it back and forth. So there you have it. Another outstanding hair tool by GHD. I like that it's revolutionary. It's better <laughs> than the other ones from back in the day. It delivers well, I'm impressed. You don't need this in your life, but if you want something like this in your life, I think it'll be a great investment for your hair. I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you for watching, spending time with me and the new GHD duet style, the two-in-one hair tool, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.